So you wanna to get together with a couple friends and just go hit the woods, but you only have one free night to do it. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys, John Kelly here. And if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about hiking, backpacking, gear, and just making life better when you're out in the woods. And if you like those things, subscribe to the channel. If you don't like those things, you're probably not gonna watch the whole thing anyways, but heck, you might find something you do like. Today we're gonna to talk about overnight backpacking trips. You see, for a lot of people, this is the average backpacking trip for them because work schedules aren't like they used to be. Not everybody has a nine to five Monday through Friday. A lot of people are working six days a week and their weekend gives them one free evening that they can get out. So for a lot of people, an overnight backpacking trip is the option. And so today I wanna to give you five tips on how to make an amazing trip when you only have one night to do it. Tip number one, short miles. If you're doing an overnight trip, chances are you're probably leaving mid-afternoon, right after work maybe, and you're just wanting to get out into the woods. Don't plan for a huge, long hike to get to your campsite, because there's a good chance, depending on how far away your, uh, your trip is gonna be, that you may not have a lot of sunlight otherwise, and nobody likes setting up in the dark with their tent or their hammock. So it's really wise to plan short miles so that you can get to camp and really enjoy spending time with your friends. Another big benefit of doing short miles is it also opens your trip up for people who might not otherwise come. There's a lot of people who are gonna wanna come on your trip who've never hiked before, who've never backpacked before, and giving them shorter miles to introduce them to it is a fantastic way to get them out into the backcountry. So when you're planning a trip, it's really wise to consider on a short overnight trip to do short mileage so that that trip is more accessible for others and it makes it a little easier to plan. Tip number two, bring all the luxury. It's okay on a shorter trip with short mileage that's just an overnight to go ahead and bring that chair, bring a side table, bring a saw with you, uh, bring anything you want that's a luxury item that you normally wouldn't bring on a longer trip, bring those on these overnight trips. Overnight backpacking trips are typically more about camping than they are about hiking, so bringing those items is actually going to help you really enjoy the evening a little bit more. If you're doing multiple days and long miles, obviously there are things you're not gonna wanna bring on a trip, but when you're doing an overnight trip, where you're not hiking all that far, bring all the luxury. Really enjoy the evening. Heck, if you've got an extra hammock and you just wanna bring it out so you can lay around in it when you get to camp, bring it. It's okay on these trips to not worry about being ultralight or even lightweight. Just bring the stuff and have a good time. Tip number three, bring all the food. You heard me right, bring all the food. Forget the mountain house, forget the packet gourmet, just forget all that stuff because you're only camping for one night. Bring a steak, bring pork chops, bring uh, peppers and onions, potatoes, bring real food out and really enjoy the evening. If you're just hiking in short miles, you don't need to worry about that pack weight so much. Bring in food you're really gonna enjoy that you can share with each other. Maybe do kind of a potluck style meal. Everybody brings part of the meal and you guys cook it over the fire. This really adds to the experience. I mean, you may not normally bring a titanium grill with you. You may not bring uh, an egg container with you. You may never go with any kind of a skillet and if you're not bringing that, you're probably not bringing a spatula either. But I'm telling you, on an overnight camping trip, bring those things. Take the opportunity to really enjoy being out there in the woods with your friends. Cook a big dinner, make a big breakfast. Just really make the trip about enjoying the trip. Don't make it about miles, don't make it about weight. Make it about enjoyment. Tip number four, make sure that you don't plan to be hours and hours away. If you're not getting off work till five or six o'clock at night, you really don't wanna drive three or four hours for an overnight backpacking trip. Better to find a place nearby that's maybe an hour and a half to two hours away so you still have a couple of hours of daylight. Now I know the further north you are, you might have daylight up till about 10 o'clock, whereas here in Kentucky, about nine to 9.30 is when it starts getting dark in the summertime. So when you get off work, 
get somewhere that you can leave straight from work and not have to worry about hiking into the dark and setting up your camp in the dark. Making sure you plan to be nearby will make it a whole lot easier for you. And tip number five is more about your friends than anything else, and that's have gear available for your friends to use. Overnight trips are the best trips to do to get your friends out in the backcountry with you. A lot of guys aren't gonna sign up for a five-day backpacking trip or even a full weekend if they've never done it before. So you're better off getting your friends out on an overnight trip and the best way to get your friends out there is have gear available for them to borrow. I am a gear hoarder, I won't even lie. I just hoard so much gear, but I have friends who wanna try backpacking and so I like to have gear that they can borrow when I go out. So it's always wise to have some backup gear that you can loan out to your friends so that they can get out there with you. Let's just be honest. Solo backpacking is fun, but being out there with your friends is a thousand times better. So plan to have gear available just in case you've got friends that are interested in going but don't have the gear themselves. It's always great to be the guy who helps other people get into the backcountry. So what about you guys? What are some tips that you have for doing an overnight backpacking trip? What are the best ways to really, really enjoy getting out there for those single one night backpacking trips. Leave those in the comments below. Like I said earlier, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I'll catch you on the next go around.